Government is not the solution to our problem. Government is the problem. We can meet our destiny to build a land here that will be for all mankind a shining city on a hill. You're listening to the Liberty Brothers Radio Show, only on Revolution Radio. Now, here are your hosts, Jim White and Jason Van Tatenhove. The Crusade for Freedom is your chance and mine to fight communism. Please hang up and try again. Hello, may I help you? Hello, is this Deborah? It is. Hi, Deborah. This is Jason and Jim with the Liberty Brothers. You're on the air live. Sorry, we seem to be having a lot of technical difficulties today. We're unfortunately having trouble loading web pages and whatnot, but uh, we're able to get you connected. We're live on the air now. Thanks for so much for joining us. Well, I really appreciate uh, being able to get some extremely important information out to all of your listeners because uh, um, we have some YouTubes that we'll be recommending and a number of go-to links on the website www.stopthecrime.net. Again, uh, stopthecrime.net is the website. And for all of your listeners, as well as for you to put this up, uh, we uh, have a printing shop that for the cost of shipping and printing can send out any documents that anyone may hear me reference today at only the cost of uh, printing and shipping by calling area code 707 Five eight six nine five five eight. Once again, area code seven zero seven five eight six nine five five eight. Well, Deborah. Yes. Real quick before we get into things, uh, normally we have a bio ready to go and whatnot, but unfortunately due to the internet connections, uh, we don't have that ready to go. So we're hoping you could tell us a little bit about yourself for our listeners and kind of how you came to this this line of research and, and why you're so passionate about it. Well, absolutely. Um, yes, um, I am over a 30-year, third-generation um, home builder team. Uh, we built predominantly in Southern California, and it was through that process and in the later years of our self-employed business that we started to um, see uh, constraints in our building business that were not allowing us to um, build any longer. We literally uh, curtailed our business uh, because of policies that required increased um, uh, off-site requirements for building and w reducing uh, square footages that we could build on site, etc. And it wasn't until a few years later that I started to understand the agendas coming out of the White House through executive orders and what that meant to the economy and the shredding of small businesses in the country. And I was starting to also see uh, large corporate builders, private-public partnerships, getting uh, funding and support in local cities and literally stomping out the mom-and-pop builders that um, certainly many people that we knew were in those years in the 80s and 90s in Southern California. Most of those uh, builders are now long gone and or long since bankrupt. And it was, again, during that process and then not being so uh, busy in my business, as you can appreciate, self-employment takes up all your time in raising a family. I was able to then start looking into what was going on, and I was stunned. Uh, it, took, uh, it took us to Washington, D.C., actually to the records department to confirm some documents that I saw on the Internet because I was certainly not willing at that point to... Um, accept everything on the internet as being legitimate. But we had a meeting with our family and we discussed if these documents were in fact verifiable through the records department in Washington, D.C., what we thought as retirement was going to start looking very different, and it, and it has. Uh, we did find those records in the um, records department in Washington. Basically, one of them, uh, one of the resolutions was adopted uh, in uh, the 70s al um, and allowed the Department of Defense, Congress allowed the Department of Defense to use chemicals and, and biologicals on the American civilian population without our knowledge or consent. And at the time, I found that outrageous, absolutely outrageous. Well, of course, since then, we now see all of the methods in which they are using chemicals, and we're under a massive silent weapons and chemical and biological uh, system to reduce the population. And as I started to 
get into these documents, I was horrified. Um, I was sad. I felt extremely betrayed. I certainly then started to realize why this could happen, and I looked into what kind of government did we have that would be poisoning uh, all of us, air, water, food supply, and overhead geoengineering. And I then started to understand um, how corrupt and weaponized our education system was, and one thing just led to another. And um, I first initiated a very um, outspoken um, awareness campaign about the deployment of the smart meters, which are the um, electrical devices that read your use of electricity. Yeah, Deborah, let me, let, me, let me stop you for a second on the smart meters. We had a conversation before, and were you telling me that they can crank up the microwave or the energy on the smart meters in a reverse manner and make people sick inside the house or something? Weren't you yeah, saying something like that? Yes, I was. They they can request um, readings um, off of all of the RFID chipped appliances. Um, it's it, it's exactly as you just said, and they can literally uh, increase and mecha and weaponize individual home homes if they would like to, uh, as they can also do with uh, the cell phone towers that are being deployed. In fact, the um, telecom industry has now said that there will be one, tel one uh, cell phone tower and or antenna for every 75 homes in the country. And, and we're now seeing them deployed in the middle of playgrounds at elementary schools. Well, in the middle getting, of the playground. Yeah, well, of course, the schools are short on funding and the telecom industries are paying monthly um, uh, uh, rent for the rental of that uh, cell phone siting space, particularly with schools, first responders such as fire departments, police. They're literally um, uh, inducing uh, involuntary responses from our brains because this is uh, brain intrusion. This is what this is. The end goal is rather horrific, but I'd like to certainly let your listeners know what to expect in the short term and what uh, additional reading uh, I can recommend that they do to understand. I will tell uh, you that uh, this is extremely horrifying. I know that many people get very depressed and they just want to shut off and go back to their pizza and watching their indoctrinated programs on television. We really are no longer in a position to have that attitude. Uh, we must uh, start looking at what is happening because it's increasing uh, by the minute, and I mean every word of that. We're seeing it here in Northern California. I'm about an hour north of the Golden Gate Bridge in Northern California, and uh, what we're seeing here is horrifying. Uh, we see a tremendous, uh, and, and never realized it, the influence of Rothschild in this area. Uh, for example, uh, everyone can type in our utility company here in Northern California, which is called Pacific Gas and Electric. The acronym is PG&E. You can type in your search engine PG&E followed by Rothschild, and you will find that the um, CEO from Rothschild LLC is on the board of PG&E. Now, PG&E was in attendance at the 1992 Rio de Janeiro Earth Summit. Agenda 21. Was and was tasked to be the model utility company for all of the other utility companies across the country to emulate. That's what's happened. We are being taken over. All of our resources, energy resources, gas, water, electricity, uh, and now, of course, our food supply, everything is being taken over. Um, and um, I'm going to get into that because uh, the Rothschild influence here in Northern California is not unique to only Northern California. I'm only telling you what I have discovered here, and everyone that's listening can do your own research in your community. I discovered when I typed in Southern California, having done business there for so many years, I typed in uh, um, Southern California Edison, which is the uh, utility supplier down in Southern California, and I did not uh, quickly see a Rothschild connection. But what I then realized is that Southern California Edison is called Edison International. So when I typed in Edison International, there was the Rothschild link. I also discovered uh, here in Northern California 
the Eel River or po- the Potter Dam uh, that uh, is is largely our water supply coming into Sonoma County. The water rights were purchased by PG&E in 1930, aka Rothschild. Rothschild owns the water, the headwater supply of Sonoma County, and um, there's there's uh, an extremely important YouTube I'm going to recommend everybody uh, go to right now. Uh, it is Water Crisis Hoax. Again, Water Crisis Hoax, H-O-A-X. Type that in on your YouTube. Listen to uh, my conversation about uh, discovering primary water. Uh, and then the next YouTube I would recommend everybody watch is called Primary Water Explained. Primary Water Explained. Now, what does this mean and what am I telling you? What I'm telling you is what we were never taught, uh, how, how and where water really comes from. The same exact thing occurred with what we about petroleum. We were all taught that petroleum uh, came from uh, its fossil fuels, that limited resource, and that Rothschild, Rockefeller actually created that illusion. Uh, petroleum is a renewable energy resource, and for all of you that are listening, we need to get, become educated rather quickly. I would recommend a very important short YouTube called Origins of Oil. Origins of Oil. Understand the Earth is magnificent, and there are many renewables that are now being um, conscripted into scarcity, the illusion of scarcity for uh, massive profits by the corporate structure, but also scarcity is also part of the massive genocide program, the illusion of scarcity. But primary water is why we don't have a water shortage, and we can no longer be tricked by the um, media campaign, the propaganda, to frighten us uh, that we have water scarcity. Our children are literally being traumatized with all of the fear campaign and fear-mongering. So we've got to start relieving um, our children's fear by by us becoming educated and starting to let them know De- that we have an abundance of water. Deborah, let me ask you this real quick before we, we keep going on things. Um, one thing that, that I've really taken to, and I, I agree with you on all points, I think we are being poisoned in the air, the food, the water, it's it's endemic and it's it's just a multifaceted attack that we're under and I absolutely agree with you with the powers behind it. Um, but one thing I really keep an eye on and I've kind of uh, it's it's been kind of uh, my passion for a while now. Kind of started with noticing a heart bubble on the uh, on a, a, a radar signature um, and then just the, watching the chemtrails happening, the geoengineering that's happening above our very heads. And this is something that I moved from Colorado to, to Montana to Butte, Montana, which is it's a pretty small county. I mean, it's it's thirty thousand people amongst the county, but still, you know, it's it's a fairly. Un, there's more cows here than there are people, um, but yet I notice here that every day I'm documenting at least every few days just massive amounts of chemtrails going overhead where they're doing these X's in the sky, they're doing grid patterns. Last night, literally, there was the the tar stain with what appeared to be eight different um, chemtrails going out into the the horizon. And as much as we may know about it, and as things progress, people are waking up to it because, you know, they can't deny that the skies are no longer the, the same that we grew up with. But what can we... What can we really do about it? I mean, we hardly even, just now we've kind of heard the first project name, the, the Indigo Skyfold Project, and it seems to be so compartmentalized, and, and you know, the, the few pilots that we have supposedly heard from um, seem to be in fear for their lives. What, what, I mean, if they want to keep spraying us, there's not much we can really do about it other than educate people. Is there... What what can really be done about it other than educating people? And that's something that we've been trying to do passionately here. But I, I become very frustrated with it because it's just like, well, how do we stop it? Well, uh, the Kim trailing is something certainly um, that we have to educate. Uh, certainly, we now recognize in the likelihood of unmanned vehicles being part of the component of Kim trailing. So it's getting beyond our hands. Uh, the the chem trailing has uh, multi purposes. Uh, certainly, they're spraying smart dust on all of us, which become implanted sensors, 
and literally the... And that would be connected to the Morgellons outbreaks that we're seeing? Well, in part, yes, absolutely. Morgellons is literally uh, uh, creating a new DNA. We're being modified as humans, uh, something other than humans. Uh, when you look at the NASA war document that I've had posted on StopTheCrime.net uh, for quite some time, uh, I would certainly uh, recommend everybody read that. Uh, it is the uh, foundation for another uh, unbelievable document that we recently found. But it will tell us in there that it doesn't matter where we try to hide, that the smart dust can infiltrate even deeply buried uh, targets. And that's on page 42 of the uh, NASA war document. And they talk about micro dust uh, uh, being distributed as an aerosol and inhaled into our lungs. And the dust mechanically bores into lung tissue and executes various pathological missions. Uh, they admit that this is a completely new type of weaponry, but it is legal. So what we're facing is a diabolical assault on uh, every living thing on planet Earth. And it is so um, outrageously horrific that it's difficult for people to believe that it's real. And uh, it is real. Uh, we can see certainly the predictive programming through uh, the movies that we're watching, the robotization, uh, all of the robots. That is all real. We are being... Uh, phased out. Um, the NASA do war document will certainly tell you that uh, with, without mincing words. I mean, it is a, an unbelievable document. When I found it at 2 in the morning and I started reading it, I, I thought that this just couldn't be real. Well, Where did you find it real. at? I, I just, I don't, I don't really know, to be honest with you. I stumble into things and I just don't know half the time how I got there. So it was I, online. Yeah, it was, and then I vetted it because it was presented as a PowerPoint about a few months before 9-11 by uh, Dennis Bushnell, the chief NASA scientist at the Langley Research Center. And uh, on page 66, for example, it says, increasingly critical are human limitations and human downsides. Humans are too large. We are too heavy. We are too tender, and I want you to remember that, the tender part. We're also too slow physically and mentally. We require huge cost, and we have a rapidly decreasing to negative value. And they talk on the very next page, 67, about robotics in the large and how they're more efficient, more effective. They cost less, and uh, they do not create the detriment in the environment. I want to flip to this because I think all the listeners right now need to, to know this right now. Uh, I have a YouTube uh, that I did. It was an emergency town hall meeting that we had here in Sonoma County some months ago, but I would recommend that everybody watch this because this is going to happen to you if it isn't already. Uh, and it's entitled, the YouTube, Who is Running America and the Climate Action Plans? Who is Running America and the Climate Action Plans? I think what's most important to let everyone know is that there are ways that we cannot consent. Can we stop the chemtrailing? No. Can we educate people about it? Yes. Can we deny access to our homes to, uh, re to ultimately force retrofitting in our homes because of policies that are adopted in your cities right now that require you to reduce your CO2 emissions? This is all fraudulently based uh, science uh, and policies coming out of your cities. Your cities yeah, Deborah. Deborah, all... let me stop it for a second. Deborah, talk about that because that fascinated me when we talked previously. You told me that they're setting up entire industries right now to retrofit every single dwelling in the United States. All of them are going to fail the initial uh, um, the initial uh, carbon uh, um, what's uh, evaluation. Is that not what you were saying? Is that accurate? Yeah, that's exactly what I said, um, and a, a builder would say it like this, as I am. Every structure in the country, and including globally, is non-compliant to meet the newly concocted, scientifically fraudulent uh, requirements of new uh, energy reductions based on, on re lowering your CO2 emissions in your home. So what do I mean by that? Well, um, there are three tiers 
to this fraudulent um, plan that's coming out of everyone's city. Now, what I'd like everyone to do that's listening to confirm this for yourself is type in the name of your city in your search bar, followed by policies to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Again, the name of your city, followed by policies to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. You will find those policies. It is an executive order through the White House. We are run by executive orders. We have a de facto government. This is why all of this is happening. And I'm going to state this right now so that people will understand, because all of this sounds so crazy and absurd, and it is. And how could this possibly be happening? And I want to say uh, that it's an established fact that the United States federal government was dissolved by the Emergency Banking Act of March 9, 1933, as declared by President Roosevelt. Everyone listening needs to understand the reality that we have been in. We have had phony fiat currency since 1913, nothing but debt notes. You build more false uh, takedowns on top of phony false currency. You build um, uh, de facto governments out of this. In fact, what we now know since the bankruptcy is that the receivers of the bankruptcy uh, of the United States bankruptcy were the international bankers, the World Bank, and the International Monetary Fund. And sadly, all United States offices, officials, and departments have been operating within a de facto status and in name only. And what does that mean? Well, we're USA, Inc. We're a corporate structure. In fact, we are Earth, Inc. Massive uh, corporations, really controlled by a few, have taken over um, the uh, illusion of representative governments. All of our cities are incorporated. They do, do not serve us. That is why so many people will go to their city meetings and maybe get two or three minutes uh, to address the, the city council with some very important documents and information which goes nowhere. I want everyone to pay close attention to this statement right now. By and large, your cities are operating and getting revenue from grants. They are signing grants, they are signing contracts, and going after grants. And every corporate agency in the country is doing the same thing. Our debt is absolutely uncontrollable because they're printing money and they're increasing the national debt. I'm talking about grants at every level, not only your cities and counties, but your, your health departments, your, um, your um, education uh, departments, uh, fish and game, uh, Every single department, every single department is operating off of grant money. And this is horrific when you really start to look at it. But again, getting back, uh, I recommend that everyone type in the name of your city, followed by policies to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Then type in the name of your city uh, and type in um, energy audit firms, energy audit companies or energy audit firms, same thing. And you will find that energy audit companies are there in your town. They are going to offer you free in-home energy audits. Do not sign up for these. Your uh, energy audit is, will end up on a massive Department of Energy website, and they will track and monitor your compliance to required retrofitting in your home. Now, this is a three-tiered program of retrofitting. The first retrofitting you will be offered loans. This is a massive new bank venture as well because there are loans uh, now available through the federal government, a.k.a. the World Bank, a.k.a. Rothschild, that will allow you to borrow money to uh, implement the required retrofitting that you are required to do. Um, and that looks like uh, this in many instances. Uh, putting on cool roofs, uh, changing out all windows, uh, certainly uh, all weather stripping, um, all new appliances if your current appliances are not energy efficient and they are not ENERGY STAR rated appliances. Those are all the appliances now 
with the RFID chip technology and the surveillance and the cameras. This includes um, even uh, your thermostats in your homes, your hot water heaters. Here in Sonoma County, uh, our approved climate action plan states that we are to no longer have or use gas appliances or equipment. When we first saw that in the plan as builders, uh, we were horrified uh, because obviously many people, restaurants, so forth, cook on gas. Well, uh, that is uh, going to be eliminated under these plans. And what, what the real goal is, as identified by the Department of Energy, the ultimate goal is to use no energy at all. Um, in fact, in the um, YouTube that I strongly, strongly recommend everybody watch, Who's Running America and the Climate Action Plans, I actually have this document and tell you where to get it on StopTheCrime.net because I also have a Climate Action Plan link. But because I've accumulated so many documents and I realize people are not able to spend the kind of time that I am, I've been creating YouTubes and assembling the documents within the YouTubes with explanation so that it's easier to understand how these documents are all blending and working together. Now, Deborah, do, the, do you have a YouTube channel name, or should we just reference it off your website? Um, well, I have a YouTube channel, which everyone can get off the top of StopTheCrime.net. You'll see a YouTube um, uh, insignia, and you can click on that, and you can watch all our current YouTubes, I would recommend everyone does. Uh, we're here in the belly of the beast here in San Francisco in Northern California. And we get into meetings that are unbelievable. And we have uh, 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 some information posted uh, as a result of being in meetings. Uh, we have KILL, K-I-L-L, ARK, A-R-K, storms and earthquakes. Of course, we know, and I don't want to leave the climate action plans quite yet, but uh, the climate action plans include weaponized weather events as well as ways in which to um, move people off their properties. Uh, but let me just get back and finish up the uh, U.S. Department of Energy's goal. Uh, they're aiming for zero, and they say this is their ultimate goal. It's not to use energy. The most efficient energy is energy we do not generate. This is not a technology. It is a behavior modification or learning to live in a new reality. The United States middle class and the United States in general is being absolutely shredded, as are all uh, other countries as well. We are literally being cooked by the increased cell towers, antennas, and the fact that we are all accustomed now to the goodies, the uh, wireless technology of cell phones and uh, having uh, tablets that are not hardwired. We should not have anything in our homes at this point that is not wired, even your phones. If you have uh, cordless phones, deck phones, you need to get rid of them immediately. We have a solutions page on StopTheCrime.net. Uh, it will not mitigate the increasing problems that we now recognize are occurring because the frequencies are uh, being turned up in the United States. Um, 3G, 4G, 5G, uh, they're putting um, flat plan panel arrays on buildings now that, we, that are decorative that you don't even realize are all part of this frequency and surveillance grid. The uh, exponential increase of this um, soft kill or silent weapon system is unimaginable. And I have a YouTube up in, entitled The Cooking of Humanity. And I interviewed Barry Trower, who uh, is a uh, microwave weapons expert out of the UK. And he has a number of YouTubes up. I would recommend that everyone go to The Cooking of Humanity and start understanding what is happening and then go to the solutions page of StopTheCrime.net and uh, take a hard look at how to reduce the uh, frequencies in your home because we're finding people are experiencing all kinds of disabling uh, and, and pesty kinds of things. And these, these um, symptoms are not only just from the frequencies, but it's also from the chemtrails as well. And people are going to their doctors. Their doctors are not trained. 
they don't recognize uh, this uh, type of technology that is occurring. They have uh, gotten their degrees through the weaponized medical industry of big pharma for massive profits. I'm sad to say I think most everyone listening understands that. But uh, we do have at the top of StopTheCrime.net a symptoms list. Um, you can just type in the search bar at the top of StopTheCrime.net for symptoms list, and I would recommend you download this list. It's a one-page list, but uh, there are many things on it that people are probably getting individual drugs for, such as um, just the inability to focus and feeling sluggish, um, ringing of the ears is very typical. Uh, difficulty concentrating, people are experiencing headaches and migraines and vision disruptions, et cetera, depression, uh, irritability, um, and oftentimes uh, increased nervousness and seizures and vertigo, respiratory problems, just slower reaction times. In fact, there's a book called Were We Controlled um, that we have on our website and talks about this was back in the 60s when we had increased electromagnetic frequencies in the atmosphere, um, car accidents uh, went up 600% and industrial accidents increased substantially as well. Now we've got to keep in mind there are profits made from accidents and insurance claims. This is a massive market that we are in. U.S. Inc. is a market for profit the, uh, sadly, the corporate charters uh, have no um, regard towards ethics, morality, or concern for life. They, corporations are a dead legal fiction. And uh, we have the corporate structure in all of our local cities with our incorporated cities. We are uh, literally uh, being taken over by this corporate structure that we don't understand. We need to understand first and foremost how government really works and the illusion of all the scarcity when in fact we have renewable petroleum and water is a renewable. Again, go to the primary water link at the top of StopTheCrime.net and also the PrimaryWaterInstitute.org. We have a, a website where you can download flyers on the water issue. It's called primarywater.org. Uh, that is different than the primarywaterinstitute.org. The primarywaterinstitute.org are primary water experts that have drilled and accessed primary water all over the world. Now, why am I talking about water? Well, it's all part of the climate action plans. We are all required to reduce our water consumption. The the concerns with these plans is it's a three-tiered uh, in-home energy audit requirement. Most people will be able to survive through the first tier of required retrofitting. Uh, loans will be given as an opportunity. The loans become part of your property tax base so that uh, if you um, do not pay, it's not the type of foreclosure that a secondary um, loan would be on your property as a result of uh, certainly uh, decreasing your CO2 emissions. Well, uh, uh, Deborah, let me stop it for a quick second. Are you familiar with the land patent title? Will that protect you if you get if you get a if you go through the process to get a land patent title? Then I, they I'm, not they I'm not discouraging anyone's efforts on anything right now, but um, again, your local uh, code enforcement is going to come out to all of our all of our properties, every structure, and they are going to write up energy uh, audit requirements. And if we do not comply and show that we have done this, we will then be um, fined and penalized. Ultimately, if we do not comply, they will, they will red tag our properties and say they are not fit for human habita habitation. This is the plan. It's to confiscate properties. This is the plan. Now, the, the end goal of these required reductions of CO2 emissions as they uh, work with um, the energy audits and the required retrofitting is to have every home not emit um, any CO2 
again, I told you, everyone that's listening, what the Department of Energy is looking for. Uh, the ultimate goal is to not use energy. Well, that's, uh, what, that's the end goal. Uh, what, what is being done is every structure is being identified as historical. And I don't mean what we conceive as historical, uh, old buildings and so forth. All buildings are considered inefficient. They don't fit with presumably the new technology that's rolling out. Really what this is is to uh, vacate all properties and move people in to human settlement zones. I know people like to call them stack and pack small uh, you know, um, units. Yes, 250 feet units now are being built. Uh, certainly our, our youth are not going to ever be able to afford to buy. They can inherit. But um, the assault is on the middle class and people that have property as well. Uh, they're targeting those people with directed energy weapons and flying over with different toxic mixes. Uh, we're being literally taken down by multiple redundant systems. Again, I recommend everybody listen to the YouTube, Who is Running America and the Climate Action Plans, and don't invite people into your home. Do not allow them into your home. We'll be able to hold off for a while, but just as uh, many had attempted to hold off on the deployment of the smart meters, that hasn't worked out so well. We've had many people arrested. I have been one of them. And many people uh, had their uh, energy turned off in the midst of hard winters uh, because they refused to allow their utility company to change out their meters. So this is a diabolical takedown of the United States and every single building in there in the United States. Another YouTube that we recently did is entitled Water Wars, Stealing Water for Profit and Power. Again, Water Wars, Stealing Water for Profit and Power. Again, I would recommend everyone listen to it. Please forward this out. I refer to many documents. Uh, we found documents out of the UK that talk about the corporate uh, government agencies here in the United States that are behind the takedown of our country and everything that we believe to be uh, supportive of our happiness and our health. We're talking about the EPA. We're talking about the Department of Interior. Uh, we discovered on the Department of Interior website a, um, a, uh, a map and it is a map that shows the level of conflict over the taking of properties due to water. And it's color-coded. Again, this is all in the YouTube that you can watch called Water Wars, Stealing Water for Profit and Power. It is unbelievable. You will also sadly learn uh, why uh, people uh, believe that the bar, the attorneys, help us in court. No, uh, the American Bar Association was put together by Rothschild to continue uh, the false programs that have now become uh, massively deployed upon all of us. The corporate structure that we think is the um, judiciary system for justice serves only the corporate structure. And the American Bar Association signed on uh, to the Rio de Janeiro policies to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. They're, they're the perpetrators, along with all of the other corporate agencies, again, that we believe are there to, to assist us. We know that the, um, the various agencies um, are closing down rural countries or rural properties. We know that, again, the U.S. forestry, the um, fish and game have been um, fining and penalizing uh, private property owners, minimizing their ability to use their property on rural lands. The climate action plans state that if your property is not within the city growth boundary, your property is considered sprawl and unsustainable. So here's what I would recommend you do to confirm this for yourself. Go down to your city, your planning department, and ask to see the urban growth boundary around your town. You may not even have an urban growth boundary, a city growth boundary, because your city may not be there for much longer. 
But having said that, the assault is enormous on all area that is considered sprawl. Here in Northern California, we are in sprawl in unsustainable areas. So what are they doing? They're targeting our, um, our rural volunteer fire departments. In other words, our emergency services are being targeted right now because emergency services don't need to serve areas and locations that are considered unsustainable and sprawl. Deborah, re- I, I, yeah. I don't mean to cut you off, but we are coming up to the end of the show. We have about a minute left before uh, the music starts rolling and stuff. Um, I, I have one last question. I mean, this is all so daunting. Again, this is stuff that I, I'm fully on board with. I, I think you may be one of the most awake people all in one package that I've talked to. Seems people are, are pretty awake on one subject or another, but you seem to have a very well-rounded um, perception of what's really going on. Um, how quickly do you think all this is going to, to develop to a point that uh, that is really going to have major impacts on, on everybody's lives that, that we can't help but to be more aware as to what's happening. Do you think that's going to happen within the next year or so, five years? I mean, when are we really going to see kind of well, this I, end I don't, game? I don't, I don't come up with timelines. What I do is I see and I find the documents that report on what I see. And for those that start educating themselves, you start to realize what is happening. And it is happening at an extremely hastened pace. Um, The chemtrails are heavier than they were 10 years ago. Uh, We now have in our county the push to redefine how the food supply is going to be delivered. This is actually a nationwide program. They call it incubator farming. They're collapsing everything. They're moving off the farmers off their land. They have the illusion of scarce water supply. All right, Deborah. Sorry, sorry to, to cut you short, but that is the end of the show. Uh, StopTheCrime.net is the website. We're talking with Deborah Tavares. Thank you so much for coming on. I'd really love to have you on uh, as much as we can just because I, I could have talked with you for a couple more shows. So, um, And there's so much out there. We're really just scratching the surface. But thanks again for the work you're doing, and uh, I encourage everyone to check of the websites. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, we're off studio. Deborah, again, thank you so much. Really, just amazing stuff. Um, I'm going to get the video going ASAP. Um, and uh, yeah, anytime you want to come back on. Have you heard that they're actually looking at uh, making the chemtrails invisible next year with the Skyfold Indigo Project, Indigo Skyfold? Well, there, there's yes. In fact, I met with uh, Clifford Carnicom and some other people here uh, last weekend. I would right love now. to get him on. I, through Alana Freeland, we were supposed to be making contact with him, but that kind of... Yeah, uh, yeah. There's, there's a real problem, and we didn't even scratch the surface of what is really happening with Morgellons. But Morgellons, of course, are nanofibers, mm-hmm. and now we have nanobots. We're being redesigned. Uh, this connects around our nerve endings within our bodies, and we're being um, we're being made into cyborgs. Well, well, uh, again, we'd love to have you on as much as you want to come on. I mean, this information <laughs> is so important. So just let us know, and uh, maybe we could even have like even just a monthly yeah, update. Well, why don't you- Call me. You know, I've got a new uh, art, a document that I'm breaking right now. You may want to have that discussed on the program. Sure. I, I think as quickly yeah. as we can get this information out to people, it takes a few months normally for people to go through their PTSD as they experience the shock of it. Um, I know for me it was extremely depressing and I was very sad and felt very betrayed. Mm-hmm. And then I just got mad, and then I wanted to know how what was happening. I did not want to be hit broadside. And we were literally hit broadside. They've tried to kill us, and they've caused tremendous um, harm to my family. So all I can say is I'm seeing this um, on a larger scale with more people now. And certainly be careful, because I, I, I know people personally that have had political retribution coming out about this stuff. So just... Take well, care there's of yourself. no way to be careful. We're all in the crosshairs now. Yeah. It, is, it is enormous, and um, all we can do at this point is to educate people that will listen, and hopefully they'll be able to make some different decisions 
while we still have an opportunity to make some different decisions. Right. Well, anytime you have something breaking, let us know. We will get it out there for you as much well, as we just, can. Yeah, I just was saying I have this uh, document that I'm breaking now. All right. Well, again, thanks so much. It was incredible. I wish we had more time. Uh, okay, maybe well, we can even get you on for two so hours. Much. All right. Bye. Bye-bye.